guys welcome back to my channel it has been so so long since I last uploaded I think it was about a month ago I am so sorry I've been a little MIA had some personal things to deal with so I am back I'm ready to die right in to makeup videos again and today I have an exciting one now I've had this makeup for probably three weeks now just chilling on the floor in the Ulta bag <laughs> So I originally went and got a bunch of stuff from Ulta and then I went again and picked up more things. That's going to be kind of a huge haul for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry if it's a little bit boring, but I picked up some really great things that I'm so excited to show you guys. So if you want to see this Ulta haul, keep on watching. So when I was going through all my makeup that I had bought and purchased just now, and setting it all out for you guys so it'll be easier to show. I did not realize that I picked up so many palettes. This video is going to be a lot about new eyeshadow palettes and a lot of skincare, which I'm really excited about. I have been wanting to kind of change up my skincare routine. It's not the best right now. I'm not the best at taking care of my skin, which I'll be totally honest with you guys. Sometimes I just take it off with a little makeup wipe. So I really wanted to dive right in to a new skincare routine and get new products and try out new things and I've seen a ton at Ulta and online so I wanted to pick up a lot of that. That's what this haul is going to be mostly about is like eyeshadow palettes and uh, skincare stuff but I do have some other little random items as well so let's get started. Um, the first palette that I picked up this one is I saw this online and I was really excited about it just because it looks so cute like I just love the packaging. This is the Ulta Beauty Here for the Cake uh, 15 piece eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. And it says that the palette includes seven matte eyeshadows and eight metallic eyeshadows. That's really cool. And online, I saw this online first and I was like, I have to go pick this up in the store. I think I picked up the last one at my Ulta close by. So I was really excited about that. Um, but the colors are so pretty. They're like, sorry for the glare. It still has the film on it, but the colors are so gorgeous. I love them. And I don't have anything in my collection right now that's like this palette. And there were a lot of pastels in this palette as well that I really liked. And then the next one that I picked up, I have been really into Juvia's Place. I have a bunch of different products from them, so I think I picked up some other products as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. There's a little bit of a glare, and I just want to open it for you guys, if I can open it. So these are what the colors look like. How gorgeous. I honestly forgot that I got this palette until I just saw it in my Ulta bag. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this red color right here. I don't have anything similar to this shade, so I'm super pumped about that. Yeah, just like really pretty uh, products. I love Juvia's Place products. They're really pigmented and the formula is really great and they're not that expensive. I think I got this one for $10 at Ulta. They were having like a sale. Um, but yeah, I love their palettes and I'm excited to dive into this one because it's so pretty. I actually picked up a couple palettes from Catrice Cosmetics. I currently love their foundation. That is probably one of my go-to foundations. I'm sure you guys have seen it in a couple of my previous videos. But I picked up these two palettes and I have seen this one a lot everywhere. So I wanted to pick this up. This is the Badass Bay Eyeshadow Palette. And you guys can see the colors. They're really pretty and really pigmented. And this palette really reminds me of the Tarte uh, Tartlet Toasted Palette that I use all the time. Like the formula and the colors are really similar. But some of these colors I don't have in my collection. So I picked this up and it was at a really great price as well. And then this one is the Orchid Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging looks like this. It is so pretty. I love that packaging. There's a film on it, but here is what the colors look like, if you guys can see that. So there's a lot of different shade ranges and just different metallics and mattes and just really pretty and something that I don't have. I have a lot of nudes in my collection right now. So I wanted something different and I just wanted something something fresh. I've been using the same palettes for a while now. I love them, they're my go-to's, but I just wanted to switch it up and get some different colors in my life. So picked up those two from Catrice Cosmetics 
And then the last eyeshadow palette that I did pick up, this is the Urban Decay Wired. And I have been eyeing this palette for so, so long. I just want something that is super pigmented, a lot of different colors, and I love it. So on the back, it shows you that you can use some of the colors for like your face, body, and eye, and then some of the other colors for face and body. Look how pretty this palette is. I love it, and the letters like pop out. So cute. So that is what the colors look like. So super pigmented, super formulated. I can tell that they're really going to pop on my eye, and the packaging is just so pretty. I love it and I'm really excited to use these colors. So those are all of the eyeshadow palettes that I did pick up, and then I picked up a bunch of random things, so just bear with me, it's gonna all go together, but just I was just grabbing and pulling. You know when you go to Ulta, you're like, I'm coming in for one thing and one thing only, and you end up leaving with 30 things that you didn't need, so that's where I'm at right now. This is the Catrice by Iman blush palette, and the packaging looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's like a really fair like blush kind of color and it has really pretty flowers on it. I love that. And then these are what the colors look like. I don't have anything in my collection that's this color right here, so I'm excited to try that. But yeah, the formula looked really good and Catrice is always great with their pricing, so I was like, I'm just gonna pick this up and try it. I think it was $10 at Ulta but I just need some different blushes. I've just been using the same ones. You know when you guys just wanna like get a different vibe and a different look? That's how I've been lately. I've been doing the same looks, I feel like, over and over, using the same blushes and products and things like that. So I just needed to revamp my collection and get something different. So I will most likely be trying this out in a couple videos coming up, so keep an eye out for that. Going forward with makeup, I have picked up a new foundation. Of course, I had to get the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I have the Tinted Moisturizer in this brand as well. I'm not really a fan, but I've heard great reviews about this product, so I'm really excited to try that out. And I got the color Light 50W, so I'm really hoping this matches. But yes, I will try this out in some videos coming up. I love the pump, so excited to try this foundation out. I did pick up from Juvia's Place, I picked up their I Am Magic Concealer. I have their foundation stick and the formula is really great, so I wanted to try a different concealer. Their packaging is pretty straightforward across the board, so it's really noticeable and you can tell that it's their brand. And oh my gosh, this concealer is huge. I think this may be bigger than the Shape Tape. Like this is almost as big as my whole face. <laughs> Which is great. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I use a lot of concealer. And I got in the shade 20, I believe. Yes, in the shade 20. So I'm hoping that it's not too light or not too dark. But oh my gosh, I just can't get over how big this bottle is. That was a good purchase. <laughs> I also did pick up another foundation. I picked up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is the Healthy Luminous Makeup. I've actually tried this before. I think it was back in like the high school days. Um, I remember that I loved it, but I heard that they had changed their formula maybe, so I wanted to try it again. So this is not completely new to me because I tried it maybe 10 years ago, but it's been a while. <laughs> so I wanted to pick this up again and try it out. And then along with the Lumi collection, I did pick up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I've heard great things about this product as well, and it's a natural glow enhancer. So can't hurt and then I did get the light glow just to wear under foundation so excited to try those products out just some random pickups on makeup I did pick up the elf liquid glitter eyeshadow this is in the shade flirty birdie and I know this is not fairly new this has been out for a while but I've never tried it and I've heard people raving about this eyeshadow and how great it is for how cheap it is so I wanted to try that and I love colors like this. I've been really into like glitter eyeshadows and glitter everything lately, I don't know why. <laughs> but I wanted to try this out and then I love this formula by Milani. This is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Pumper. This is in the shade Soft Rose. I have it in Champagne and Luminoso. If you guys are familiar with their blush with Luminoso, it's really similar to that shade. Just so, so pretty. It's like a dupe for uh, NARS Orgasm. 
but I love the formula for these lip puffer lip glosses and I wear them all the time so I wanted to pick up another one but I believe that is it for makeup and then I did pick up a ton of lashes I just needed to like vamp up my whole collection I love my styles that I wear they're so super pretty and I'm comfortable with them and I don't like to switch it up but I wanted to try a little something different I picked up quite a few and this one this is the Ilore Vegas Nay Grand Glamour I think I tried these before but I honestly don't remember um, but they are super pretty and kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now and then I picked up the Ilore Jasmine Brown. This is JB Dramatic, and they were super pretty and not as wispy as something that I'm wearing right now. So I wanted to try those out. And, and I've been hearing great things about Kiss Lashes and how great they are and how easy they are to put on and they just look a lot more expensive than they are. So I picked up two different ones from Kiss. This is the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. This is Brass Brasserie, I think I'm saying that right. But they're super wispy, really pretty lashes. And I picked these up at Ulta as well. And then this is called Garters, and this is from that Kiss line. So my kind of lash that I love, I love a good like wispy long. I like the volume and the length to be pretty long and pretty like baboom. Like I like the glam look. I'm not like a simple lash kind of gal if you guys don't know by what I'm wearing right now. I just love something that's just gonna bring the look all together and just something that's glam but you can wear every day. It's not like in your face super long. So I wanted to try these out and I'm really excited to try some different lashes out and just get some different looks. Elf has come out with a new skincare line and I'm so excited to try these products out. Now they're not fairly new, but they're new to me, so I wanted to pick them up. I picked up this e.l.f. Super Tone, a toner with brightening fruit acid. And it says it's a daily uh, exfoliator with fruit acid that removes dead skin cells. And the packaging is really cute. I don't know if you guys have seen this in stores, but it's bright yellow, super pretty. It looks a lot more luxurious than it actually is. And I need a good toner, so I picked up the e.l.f. one. And then the next product that I picked up, this is the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. Comes in this packaging right here. It looks like a lot of product for the price. I'm excited to try this night cream out. I'm not good, like I said, about doing moisturizers and things like that right now. I'm just so busy taking care of the kids, so I need to up my skincare game. And again, this packaging is so cute and looks so expensive. It's just really sleek and really clean. I love it. The next product that I did pick up, this is the e.l.f. Pore Refining Brush and Mask Tool. I picked up a couple different masks, as you guys will see in the next couple products. So I needed a tool to put those masks on, and I've been seeing a lot of different tools that you can get off Amazon. Some other different brands had some, but I was just in the e.l.f. section, so I picked this up. The other skincare products that I did pick up, I have been seeing a lot about this Florence brand. It's been really popular at my Ulta store. They had a lot of different products. So this is the Florence by Mills. This is the Clean Magic Face Wash. And the packaging looks like this. It's a really pretty like baby blue purple color. Really easy to spot in the Ulta store. This is supposed to be for all skin types and when your face is like feeling dry, it's a dewy and creamy wash. I'm excited to try this out. I'm curious to see if it has a fragrance to it. Let me open it up really quick. So there's a lot of packaging in this face wash. So there's not really a fragrance to this, but I'm excited to see if it makes my skin dewy and creamy like it said. The next the Florence by Mills product that I uh, did pick up, this is the Look Alive Eye Balm, and it comes in the same packaging. I have really bad dark circles, I'm a mom, I'm constantly tired, so I always need a really good under eye cream to kind of hide those bags away. This is supposed to help that. It's formulated with vitamin B12, snow mushroom, which is interesting. Um, Malachite extract and a peptide blend. Not sure what most of those things are, but it sounds really good. It sounds refreshing. So I'm excited to try this out from Florence by Mills. I will keep you guys updated. I got this product from I Do Care, and I've seen a lot of these products on Amazon, but I noticed that they were in my 
uh, Ulta store and I was really, really excited. This is the I Do Care Bright Side Up Brightening Vitamin C Serum. It looks like this. I love vitamin C serums. I think they really work great for my skin. I used to use one, I can't remember the brand, but I used to use one all the time and I really think they help brighten up your face and just make your skin look so alive. This brand was fairly new so I wanted to try it and the packaging on the inside is so cute as well. So it has a little dropper. The last products that I did pick up are some face masks. I'm so excited to try some new face masks in a bunch of different brands, but I saw these from Revolution Skincare. I love Revolution's makeup and Makeup Revolution's products. So I figured it would be easily the same and I would love them as well. And they honestly looked so good. Like I just want to eat them. They're so refreshing looking. I got two different ones. So it looks like these are the Revolution by Jake and Jamie face masks and they look like this. So if you guys have seen them in the store, this one is the avocado face mask. It comes in this kind of packaging. There's an avocado on the top. So it's super refreshing. You can see like little seeds on the inside. It looks so yummy. And then this one is the Jake and Jamie hydrating face mask. This is the watermelon one. And it's the Feed Your Face one. So it comes in this packaging as well. So it's super cute. I'm so excited to smell them. I'm gonna open them right now on camera if I can open them. Gosh, they package this stuff like it's going to the moon. There we go. <laughs> This one is so cute. I love it. So this is what the top looks like and in the jar. It's a pretty good amount of face mask and you can see the little seeds in there. It's just so cute and so yummy looking. I'm excited to try this out on my face. Mm, it smells so good and refreshing. I love anything watermelon. That is like my go-to. That's my favorite fruit if you didn't know. <laughs> And then this one is similar as well. It has a little avocado on the top and you can see little seeds in there. Looks so yummy. And this one is a little bit of a thicker consistency. The watermelon one is kind of like a jelly, but this looks a little bit more creamy. And then that one looks a little bit more thin and sheer, um, like it's gonna go on like a jelly. So those are all the products that I did pick up from Ulta. Sorry if it wasn't much, if, if it was too boring for you, I'm so sorry. But I'm personally excited about these products. I just need to vamp up my makeup collection, get something different, come out with some new looks for you guys. So. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps us so, so much. I appreciate you guys more than you know, trying to help me build my subscribers and my followers. Also, if you haven't followed my Instagram yet, I post all my tutorials and makeup videos, majority of my tutorials on my Instagram, shorter mini ones. So if you haven't checked that out yet, my Instagram will be down below in the description box. So come follow me. Let's be friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.